Okay, this is a uh, Age of Conan Hyborius adventure, and this is basically the beginning. As you can see here, this is the general server selection. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to create one, create a new character. Uh, creating a character is definitely a good unique, uh, good unique special feature that I would say Age of Conan puts to an MMO. Gives you more distinctive characteristics, as you'll see in a moment. Okay, here we go. Right. You can be either male or female. Your choice. We'll be female. Um, there is uh, certain cultures, the Aquilonians, the Sumerians and the Stygians. They all have um, different sort of classes as you can see here. The the Aquilonians and Stygians uh, have assassins, I, th I believe it is, and the Sumerians don't. But the Sumerians have bear shamans and so on like that. Each race has got their own sort of special thing. Will be the um, Aquilonians, right? And we'll just choose the Dark Templar. Okay, you've got this here, which is your general thin, fat, muscle sort of meter, which is quite, it's alright, it's just general. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. We've got your voice sets, six different types. Some of them are quite amusing. We'll go with voice type 2. You've got your height bar, which is just above skin colour, which obviously improves your height. Skin colour here will go white. Uh, body markings is basically tattoos sort of thing, but they'll, they'll look more painted on. Well, they are painted on. There's several types of different ones. It's different for the males, as it f is for females. But I'll just generally show you the tattoos you can have. This will, this is um, going to be the second part of the Age of Conan review because it's it's got quite a lot to talk about for YouTube's 11 minutes. So I'm just going to try and I'm just basically going through character creation on this one, show you the in depth of it. Anyway, we'll go with this body art here. Then on the side here, you've got your your eyes you can choose and your tabs of. Uh, zooming into the face, we'll go green eyes. Uh, different faces, which you can customize later on. So we'll just go with I don't know well, that one. Hair color. And you've got facial tattoos and makeup. We'll just go up with the the black eyeshadow, I think. Right here, this is where you customize your your face and your body mass, mostly your arms, skinnier arms, chest size, bosom size. Well, bosom for the women anyway, not for men. Uh, the face has got everything like. The best thing I can describe it is it's a bit like Oblivion's facial style, if you know what I mean, like how you can shape the nose and stuff. It all depends on the player, to be honest. But it's good because it gives you more of a unique style instead of just choosing a um, a uh, default face, which everyone will pretty much have in the game. But yeah, there's just some of the random stuff you can do. Some of them don't really change much to be honest but oh uh, 
I believe I haven't showed you the hairstyles, <laughs> which I've completely forgotten about. Well, uh, we'll go to that now, I think. There's nothing much I can really show you on the facial features. The hair's up here. There is quite a lot of hairstyles, but they're not great. Some of them are pretty crap. The men's hairstyles aren't very good at all. But the only reason why it's loading in like this is because I'm recording with fraps and obviously that uh, consumes some of your frame rate. It's a lot faster than this normally. So don't worry about the loading in times. It's just fraps being bent. So. What? I'll name her Naomi. This is basically telling you all the interface, all the different things of what you're going to be using the keys that in the heads up display were on default anyway. Takes doesn't take as long as this to load. It's normally quite quick. But I'll leave you with the opening cutscene. So then, you're not quite dead. This is Tortage, the pirate haven, jewel of the Barachan Isles. To the west is Atlantis, silent and dead under the open ocean. Eastwards lies Hyboria, where the world's doom rises. But your life is ending, even as I speak. The slave master from your vessel runs through the wilderness to reach the city. Slaves are forbidden within the walls, and if he tells the guards your ship carried a cargo of flesh, you will be left outside to rot in the jungle. If you enter Tortage City, find the old seer, Nadini. Tell her Kalantes of Ibis sent you. Now go, find Sadur. Buy your life with his death.